I'm collecting cards from the poorest, the richest, and the ultra rich in GTA 5. All right, Franklin, stop dancing and let's go and find some cars. <laughs> I wonder what the poorest cars look like. I honestly have no idea what to expect. But according to my map, they're literally all the way in the desert. That's really far away. They're owned by people who don't even have houses. So how on earth do they even have a car? Oh no, if I have to kick people out of that car, I'm not gonna be very happy. Let's just go there now and see what we have. I've arrived at the first location and this is owned by the poorest family in the entire of Los Santos. Well, clearly not so poor because they have a car. But let's go and see what this car is. So is it like in that trailer? Oh no, guys, I think they literally live in this thing here. That must be their car? What? How do you even call that thing a car? No way is this what I gotta collect, guys. This thing is literally a pile of trash. It's got pillows from old sofas as your seat. All right, there's the trunk. And then this is the engine, I think. This is such an old vehicle. But hey, let's not waste any time. Jump inside. There's a cola in there, which is kind of cool. And these are actually kind of comfortable pillows. Scrap unknown. That's what the car is called. <laughs> it is literally just called an unknown scrap car. But check this out. It actually drives. It actually goes pretty fast. I, I mean, I don't really know how fast these cars go, but this one actually goes pretty fast, guys. Reverse isn't great, and brake isn't too good, and acceleration's pretty terrible. Other than that, though, it's it's all right. All right, let's see first person. There's like no windscreen. I got a cola, though. Now, now the question is, does the radio work? Of course it doesn't work because there's no radio. What about the horn? There we go. It does have a horn. Congratulations. Oh my days, there's electricity. The light, aka the light. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only works. Fantastic. Look at me go, by the way, guys. We are speeding down the highway right now. This might be a pile of junk, but it's a pile of fast junk. So now I've got the poorest car. Does that mean I can get the richest car next? <laughs> Come on, Franklin. Let's go to the next location, dude. Ooh, I'm so excited, guys. The richest car is meant to be, like, somewhere in this building. I think at Pacific Bluffs. How do I get inside? Well, according to my map, it was somewhere around here. So let's take a look. How do we get inside this building? Maybe I gotta go around the back. I mean, after all, that's where the waypoint's telling me to go to. Okay, I think I found the way around the back. Okay, Franklin, go through here. I'm on this, buddy. Let's see. Where is this car? Now, according to this, it's on the beach Some. Oh, no. No, I thought I was getting the richest car. This is still a poor car. What do I have to do to get the richest car, huh? Wow, he's still smiling. He's still loving life. So let's take a look at this car, guys. This looks like a van currently owned by that guy. There's a mattress in the back. Oh, that doesn't look very nice. And there's flies on top of the tent. Oh, boy, this person's even poorer than the last one. There's some crates as your seats. At least they have proper seats this time. Let's just jump inside and it does work as a scrap burrito. This was once an actual van and oh, my God days. The amount of smoke which came out of that when I started the engine, this is gonna blow up like at any second, dude. I I'm just saying it is not a reliable car. Whoa. It's barely even got working tires. How on earth is this even road safe, dude? It is such an old car and it's barely even working. But I'm still rinsing that guy on the highway. <laughs> and this guy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Screw you. I'm faster than you. <laughs> this might be the poorest car, but I don't care, guys. It's still a very fast car. Hey, bam. <laughs> And it's a pretty good one at ramming into other cars. Safe and sound. Right, Franklin, let's go and get the next car. This time, it better be the richest one. I've got two cars from the poorest. It's gonna be the richest next. Are you ready for this? The next car is somewhere in this neighborhood. And once I get this car, we might cause a little bit of drama. So we've got to be careful we don't do anything like that, Franklin. <laughs> Get out of here as fast as you can. So the next car is still from one of the poorest families. When are we going to get the richest ones? This is the third one. It's rusty, dude. Well, at least the front isn't too rusty. But come on, man. <laughs> what kind of cars are you giving me? Let's see if we can do some customizations to this, actually. I mean, it might be rusty, but I think this car could actually look pretty nice. They're going to miss it. I know for sure. I mean, it's one of the upper end poor cars. Let's be honest, guys. It, oh, jeez. Oh, no, no, no. Not on the tracks. Not on the train tracks. Go back. So as I was saying, it's one of the upper end cars. You know, it's it's got like a nice front to it, and I can see a lot of potential in this car. You know what I'm thinking? I'm gonna take this to the customs and see if we can actually restore this car. Well, in we go to the Los Santos Customs. Hey, Mr. Mechanic, can you do something for me? Just, you know, fix up the car. Let's see what he can do. And now it is an actual nice car. I can't believe the rest 
restoration we have done, Franklin. This is so nice. Now I can confidently drive this around the city without worrying about wheels coming off or like people judging me or the car falling apart or even dissolving next time it rains. This is a really nice car. I'm impressed, dude. And considering this came from one of the poorest families in the world, they're going to be so amazed when they see this car in my driveway and realize they're not getting it back. Whoa, jeez. Did I scratch this? Ah, oh, just a little scratch on the side. You wouldn't believe this came from the poorest family when you look at those two. I mean, those two are not even cars, basically. Let's go and get the next one. If the next one is another poor car, I'm going to be so annoyed. I've got a really good feeling about this. I'm in a really nice neighborhood. I think the next car is going to be from the richest people. And this is the house. And there is the car. What? Check that beast out, guys. All right, we are now collecting cars from the richest people in GTA 5. And the owner is literally standing in the driveway. Um, lovely house you got here, man. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. You'll be fine, guys. You'll wake up in the morning. Anyway, let's jump inside this car. It looks so nice. Check this beast out. Hold on a second. Is that a speaker system? Yo, guys, it has subwoofer base, like, in, in the actual doors of this car. And check out the inside. Dude, this looks amazing. It's got fog lights on top, six of them, even a tow chain and two fog lights around the front. Those tires are so thick. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm impressed. This is such a nice car. Okay, let's put on those lights. They're so bright. They're so bright, dude. <laughs> It's a Mercedes, which doesn't even exist in this world, by the way. This is like a completely different car. It's so rare. I can't believe I am driving this right now. All right, let's test out the radio. Pretty good radio. <laughs> That is a really nice radio. There is even a skylight ceiling, so you can get a tan as you drive. That is so nice. You know what I like about this? Are all of the different features around this vehicle. You know, it's got vent systems. It's got tons of windows. It's got really thick tires. I can't wait to compare this one against the other ones. I mean, guys, come on. This is like a proper car, and then the ones up there. <laughs> I mean, what even are they, huh? What, e what even are you guys? Uh, yeah, yeah, you just chill there in my driveway. Dude, I could charge more money by literally selling them for parts. You know, I could charge more money selling them as, like, ornaments. Dude, this they're, they're not they're, they're worthless. <laughs> Anyway, let's just park this car here. And uh, yeah, richest car, guys. It is so, so beautiful. Check this out. And I can't even believe this car's better than this. I recognize this place. I take chop here for walks like every single day. Hey, nice house you got there, buddy. All right, the next car is pink and it is in that driveway. Oh, beautiful. Right, one second, take out the owners. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, now they're dealt with. Let's jump inside this before someone stops me. Oh, wow, it's a six-seater. Guys, this is a Dodge Durango SRT from 2018. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seats, baby. All right, so this has got seven different seats. That's pretty nice. It's got really cool livery design. These rich people really love these cars, by the way, guys. I mean, this is literally so beautiful. It's an SUV, four by four. You could probably drive this anywhere you wanted to. And because it's part of the Dodge family, there is really no road it can't go down. It's got pretty strong lights. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to test out the radio system, right? Just whack on the radio. <laughs> I can't even hear anything, that's so loud, dude. 0 to 60 in less than two seconds, that's what you want. For a 4x4 SUV, like, it literally doesn't get better than this. It has all of the high gadgets, high tech, everything like that. And you can fit two families in here. Anyway, I'm parking this one up right next to the old scrap car. What, do I even keep these ones? This is definitely an upgrade on the last car, by the way, but I really want to know which one's your favorite. Like, we're going to get some really crazy cars soon, and uh, if you like this one the most, I need you to tell me in the comments. I'm interested, I really am. So the next car is right over there in the car park. And we're at the observatory, by the way. We're not even at anyone's house. It looks really nice from the back. I have a feeling this is the first car from the ultra rich. Oh, then again, I mean, it kind of looks a bit basic. I mean, the ultra rich are meant to own the best cars in the world, but it's still pretty nice. Hey guys, let's see if we can like find out what this is. It is a Ford. Okay, guys, I think this might be the Ford GT from 2017. Yeah, it's a GT Ford supercar. It's a nice car. Is it one of the richest ones in the world? No, it's not. No, the door's locked. I gotta find the owner, guys. The owner could be any one of them over there. Okay, Franklin, let's see if we can do this. We don't have too long before, you know, we alert the police. I'm gonna start hitting people, and hopefully one of them has the key. You! Ah, oh, no, he didn't have the key! This guy, he was walking over towards the car. Come here, buddy! Come on, I saw you! I think it was this guy. Oh, no, he didn't have the key either! All right, let's take a look around. Anyone else looking a bit suspicious? This guy, he's the one. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
You give me the key. All right, Franklin, let's go and open up that car. I can't believe it, dude. I got the car and no one knows. All right, that was so easy. Oh my days. It is really fast, dude. This is the fastest car I have driven today. Screw it. All right, guys, I'm convinced this does not belong to the ultra rich. I think there's still a few more cars to go. But as far as performance goes, this is the most powerful car I have driven today. I feel like a racing car driver from the inside. I'm not even going to bother with the radio. I'm so glad we got your ability, Franklin. We would be dead if you didn't have that ability. I've collected a lot of cars already. The next one has to be the ultra rich. Let's go and get it right now and see what it is. So the next car is somewhere around that building. Can you imagine owning a house like that? That's right, Franklin. Put your helmet on. This could get messy. <laughs> so there's the car. Ooh, very nice. I love the style. You don't see many cars like these on the streets. What is that, a Hummer? Like, what kind of vehicle is this, dude? It looks very, very nice. The number plate says top car, and there's some text on the side which says Brabus. Brabus? Brabus? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. It's an off-road vehicle. It's kitted out for, like, every situation, dude. <laughs> Check this beast out. They're solar panels. I think they're solar panels. It's got solar panels on the roof. That's what you need, guys. That is so nice. Check out the display, dude. There is so much technology going on. It's a five-seater. There's even stars on the ceiling. Wow, they know what they're doing with this beast. They know what they're doing. <laughs> wow, I actually feel like I have so much control driving this, dude. This is really nice. And then quick around the corner. Ooh, guys, this is a really heavy car because braking is not as forte. I'm getting disappointed now, guys. I've collected so many cars. Some of them nice, some of them terrible. But where are the cars from the ultra rich? Franklin, this next one has to be from the ultra rich. We've collected four cars already. Yes, it looks like the next car is coming from the ultra rich in GTA 5. <laughs> guys, check out this neighborhood. The mansions here are worth more than anything I'm ever gonna get in my lifetime. This is so nice. They have a big gate at the front. No other ways in, I don't think. Let's just go inside. This place is a palace. All right, let's just follow this driveway down. After all, I'm just after a car. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can grab this car, Franklin. Oh my days, hide, hide, hide. Guys, you won't believe this. It is the ultra rich car, but right next to it is the rock. Dwayne Johnson, the rock. Oh no, he must have heard I'm trying to overtake him in subscribers, which by the way, we're still trying to do. Help us overtake him by subscribing to the channel now. Okay, Dwayne, it's on, buddy. I'm taking you out and I'm getting that car. Yeah. Okay, go for the car, go for the car. Quick, get him, get him, get him, Franklin, get him. Screw you, Dwayne Johnson. I will overtake you in subscribers one day. Check out this ride. Wow. So these are the cars the ultra rich use in GTA 5. These are very nice cars, guys. It's somehow a Lamborghini. I don't understand. How is this a Lamborghini? I, it's so nice, dude. This is amazing. Okay, check it out, guys. It, it drives pretty well. The handling is very, very smooth. Straight out of the gates. I think I've scared the neighbors. Hey, guys, chill out. It's... <laughs> <laughs> this is so fast. Well, I have just stolen a car from the ultra rich in GTA 5, and there's still more cars to steal. Believe it or not, they're somehow gonna get better than this. I don't understand how. <laughs> this is already amazing. Let's look at the interior. So this is what the interior looks like. There are windows everywhere. Curved glass to venting systems. Feels like I'm a bee, and I'm not even a bee. <laughs> This is amazing. You won't believe what I've just discovered about this car. Check this out, guys. All right, so far, looks pretty normal, right? And then suddenly, the wheels go in, and now we're flying around. Wow! I had no idea you could do this! All right, this is the best car I've collected so far. I don't know about you guys, but this one's going down in my recommended at the end of this video. This is insane! I can fly this car back home. How amazing is that? Hey, Franklin, is that your house down there? Let's take this in for a steady landing, and that's about a steady as it's gonna get. And I'm gonna park this one up right next to here. <laughs> yeah, just crash it a million times so I don't yet. Check out this castle, guys. I didn't even realize this place exists, but it does. Oh boy, there's the owner. Watch out, buddy. Watch out. I'm just trying to land my helicopter. I don't know how to fly. Let's just dump it. <laughs> That would cause enough of a distraction. Don't worry. Right, so my car was like just down here. All right, perfect landing, Franklin. Wait, what? What is going on? Franklin, we gotta... Okay, I'm stuck, guys. Now I'm out of that predicament. Check out this ride. All right, guys. I know exactly what car this is. I've seen it a million times over. It is a Lycan Hypersport, and I think it's all electric. Yeah, this is definitely all electric. I am already going to crash this down the drive. <laughs> All right, let's see how fast we can go just down this road, guys. Check it out. Three, two, one. 
Look at me go! Guys, what did I say? It was a fast car. If you're driving this, you better have a will. You're not gonna last a couple of days in this car. Crashing is suddenly so much easier to do. Have you seen the collection? <laughs> this is the best collection ever. Apart from the, the poorest cars, of course. They're not so great. But the comparison, guys. I mean, take the poorest cars and the richest car. I mean, doesn't even compare. Anyway, there's one more car left to get. I have a feeling this is the best one in the entire collection. Let's go and see what it is and grab it before they take it away. Come on, Franklin. Let's go. I recognize this neighborhood. This is where Dwayne Johnson lived. <laughs> No longer anymore, guys. If you need a house, move straight in. But I'm going to his neighbor's house because the next car, the last car, is meant to be over there. Is this how we get inside? Is this the right one? It's so confusing figuring out which drive takes you to which house. I think this is the right one. It's a palace at the end of the day. Right, where would this car be? Oh my days, they have a giant chessboard? What? So I don't know what year this is from, but hey, it actually looks amazing. It's a Morgan, which means it's very classic. It's solid gold. It's got to have a pretty nice engine. Let's just get inside this car. It's gonna cost several million bucks. Oh boy, this guy doesn't want me to go. I'm the one in the car, so I'm going. <laughs> Go, go, go! Wow, he really did not want me driving away. Don't blame him when you're taking a car like this, but bro, how could I not? It's so irresistible! How many cars do you see like that? It's kind of like they pressed in the back, you know, and then like pinched it back out. So let's take a look at the inside. This is so classic that it's completely different. There's all of these notches and buttons and wooden frames on the inside and a little bit of leather. It's only two seats. Hey guys, let's see what happens when I open up all of the doors. So now the doors are open. We got a trunk, two doors around the side, and the engine one just opens down. Okay, that's that's really interesting. As for the speed and performance, let's test this out. 0 to 60, pretty slow. But can it go faster? Da -da 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 well, I will admit, guys, this is no like in hypersport. I can tell you that much. We can actually drive this and not worry about crashing. Oh, we're skidding a little bit. We're skidding to the side of... <laughs> And I've already spun this baby out. Well, I'm taking this car back home. I've had tons of fun. As far as cars go, the ultra rich have some pretty amazing rides. I've had an awesome day and now I'm going to sell every single one of these off. Except for the poorest ones. They're probably going to go in the bin. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it and don't forget to subscribe. Help us get to 6 million subscribers and hopefully overtake the rock. But thanks for watching. My name is Nort and until next time, stay awesome.